Hello. Welcome into the Yak. Sponsored by Roback. Roback.com. Promo code YAK. 20% off your first purchase. Roback.com. Promo code YAK. Uh, Q-zips, polos, hoodies, joggers, everything. Shorts coming up. Uh, Roback.com. Promo code YAK for 20% off your first purchase. Do it this week. If you can see the seat next to me, Brandon has quit. Yeah, Brandon's out. Brandon did quit. Uh, he was like, I'm out. I can't take this disrespect. Good riddance. Can't take Dave saying I'm a moron. And he's gone. Now he's driving Ubers. He's driving Ubers. He's doing DoorDash. I will remember you. Will you remember me? Turns out you just can't stop somebody from quitting. They can just not show up. They can just leave. Yeah. We tried to kidnap him. It's funny that it took him a week to realize that. Yeah, we were like, he's like, wait, so I can just get up and walk out this door? And he did. Like JoJo. Because I'm just sitting over here and kind of- Oh, shit. Oh, oh, fuck, dude. I, you never sit on that oh side. Just, I'm just over here. What the hell? I didn't know you were over there. My brand new Roback hoodie. Oh. I, was oh. looking, I was looking this way. This is where no. you usually sit. No, I'm over here in Kyle's seat. Oh, man. I, I thought you were Kyle this whole time. Oh, so, yeah. Somebody broke my mic stand, so I, I had to come over here. Closer to the cowbell. The Sacramento Kings Actually, cowbell. I don't know if I can sit here. I don't think you can either. Oh, you, <laughs> you, I don't think you can. I think you got to sass. Yeah. I think I go sass. Do, we have, do sass. we have giant rectangle sensor bar technology? <laughs> yeah, go sit in sass's seat. Fuck. Be fast. Yeah. Wait, crawl under. Crawl under. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I'm blocking Oh, no. <laughs> all right. All right. We're good. Oh, no. Job is safe for another day. Uh, sp- <laughs> good thing that Roan is the exact size. He really is. Oh, perfect. my God. He's- Speaking of Kyle... Mm-hmm. Are you guys gonna go to Kyle Day? Uh, so I'm. My name isn't Kyle. So what Are I you? He's out of town, but I spoke for him as his mouthpiece. Uh, we're sending him. Okay, because I. I do have you in my phone as KB's friend Nick. Oh, okay. So you kind of are a little bit of a Kyle. I thought I was pedophile Nick in your. No, phone. no. I have second KB in my phone. Appreciate I that, also have KB's friend Nick because it was when you first started. It, well, boy. that means you're Kyle. <laughs> yeah. You're Kyle. You're Kyle. Fuck, you're I gotta go to Kyle, Kyle Texas. Wait, so they're doing all the Kyles in one place? Yeah, Kyle, Texas. Are they just gonna are they just gonna like do one of those uh, when, when you when you see a forest fire and the plane comes and drops water, it's just monster energy. <laughs> it's gotta be. We're all the Kyles. <laughs> I think I, this kind of seems like it's gonna be a genocide. I feel like it's a trap. Yeah. I feel like they're like, hey, let's get all the Kyles in one place. We could just, again, you know, you could either put a Huffy or a monster energy. Yeah. Yeah, it's ramp. Like, yeah, ramp. So, yeah, just a big ramp. Walk them off the ramp like lemmings. Yeah. The Kyles. Like I used to hunt. It's also their mammoth. fourth try. What do y'all think the current biggest ever gathering of Kyles is? Mm. Um, Hi, any motocross event. Any motocross event or monster truck, yeah. X Games, yeah. yeah. X Games, yeah. Is it only dude Kyles? Maybe a, a West West Virginia like rehab center? Uh, yeah. th- That's usually just everybody in the state. Okay. Yeah. There's Ray I, Romano, by the way. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, Ray cool. Romano. Oh, wow, there he is. The legend. Going. Going. Uh, or just, yeah, he, he's not even doing the second weekend. I don't know. He, he just Oh, he, he said because he broke his ankle? I don't know. Uh-oh, is Ray Romano coming? Oh, yeah, he is coming. Oh, boy. Ray oh, Romano. Ray Romano. Yeah. Oh, my God, oh. What's Ray up? Ray Romano. What's up, dude? Man. What are you doing? What's up? What goes on in here? Oh, I'm going to oh. start. Uh, He's talking about uh, like pilgrimages and shit. Yeah, like br- right now. pretty much we've we've invented a show every day, YouTube show, where uh, thousands of people watch us talk about pretty much nothing. <laughs> so today we were talking about what I would fit be right in. I fit right in. Yeah, yeah. 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 We, were, we were talking about what would be the coolest name gathering because they're trying to get all the Kyles to go to Kyle, Texas. Ray actually would be pretty cool. But Ray's. Uh, my sons, kids, my I have identical twins, and they just went to Twinsburg, where they have uh, every year a convention of twins, like wow. like 500 sets of identical. Okay, so I got a question. Yeah. Don't take offense to this. Well, you wouldn't, but maybe your sons would. I have a theory that all twins at some point do kiss on the lips because if I saw myself, I would kiss myself just to see. What if you, you just love yourself? Do you ever caught what your... What if you think you're ugly? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. True, but have you ever caught your son's kissing? <laughs> I have not. That's the question. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> I used to have a bit about um, having identical twins is, is good, but there's a danger 
because you want them to be good looking. Right. Because when they're little, they're cute no matter what. Yeah. But when they become an older, what if they're not? Because you know, we will notice that. If you see one ugly man walk across right. the yeah. room, that's no big deal. If you see the same ugliness right behind him, <laughs> yeah. you're going to pick up on yes. ugly, ugly twins. Yeah, yes, I've ugly never twins. thought about that. That's a parent's biggest fear. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My, my son is uh, three and a half years old. He saw some twins uh, the other day. We were walking down the street, and he just pointed. He goes, what are those? <laughs> <laughs> I was just like. Huh. I still say that. Yeah. To my yeah. Twins. How did that happen? I took one uh, when they were like three years old. I was living in New York, and I took one to L.A. to, I had to go do some show, whatever, my, my wife and I. So it's f- it's first time they're separate. And when we got in the hotel room, we we heard, after a couple minutes, we heard a clank, a bang. And we looked in the other room, and it was my one twin standing next to a full-length mirror. He thought he saw his brother. And he, <laughs> and he wanted to kiss him. <laughs> yeah, he wanted to kiss him. Yeah. <laughs> he wanted to kiss him. Yeah. All right, well, Ray, right. thank you for right, stopping you, by. Yeah, you're the best, yeah. man. Can I plug my movie? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, please do. So, is this live? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Somewhere in Queens is in theaters tomorrow. Hell yes. And go see it, because my daughter just got engaged, and I needed to make 500 I need to make five hundred thousand dollars. Okay. Okay. Oh, she is moving. Very specific yeah. amount. Of money. You should do a GoFundMe. That would actually be fun. Oh, you should. <laughs> Please help out, Ray. All right. Thanks, Ray. See you later. Uh, Appreciate it. I guess we know what his daughter's wedding budget is. Yeah. <laughs> that would be so. If I, if you're like a celebrity like Ray Romano, who you assume is rich, but maybe not like the wealthiest, and he did a GoFundMe for his daughter's wedding. I mean, the backlash. Having a TV show in syndication is I bet he's insane. Your oh, yeah. very fucking very rich. Well. Yeah. Yeah. He's also been on some other hits since then. Uh, Men of a Certain Age, I think, was a really good show. He was in The Big Sick. He was really good in The Big Sick. Phenomenal movie. Well, he's a voice in what animated movie? Oh, yeah. He was in uh, yeah. one of those animated he movies. In Madagascar? Oh, yeah. He's got I think everybody was in Madagascar. Movies. Yes, he was in Madagascar. He does stand-up, too. Oh, right. A ton of stand-up. Really good. Probably, really uh, funny. Yeah. yeah. Welcome to Mooseport residuals have to be crazy. Yeah, crazy. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. I just had a full on social anxiety attack when you asked him if his sons kissed each other. I I, asked I saw him. that happening <laughs> in real time. I, I, I was like hyperventilating. He was trying to hide in her chair. It's a crazy question. It could have no, gone It's kind of a crazy question. If I had a twin, I would kiss my twin. I was just I a wild thing to ask him. I like, got, I'm sweating. I, it's pretty legendary. You asked, do you, it once. You asked a gay incest question. <laughs> yes. I just, that literally like, took the wind out. Ray Ramon. That was your first question. <laughs> hey, Ray, yeah, nice I, to meet you. Then I did tighten up his material there at the end. Yeah, we could he be like, did. yeah, my son was trying to kiss his his twin in the mirror. When he answered, I was like, this guy's. A that was a, that was, I think, a perfect interaction by you. It was. Send him off on like a, a high laugh. Yeah. Like it, that was a, a hell of a ride. Like I nailed it. Oh. But yeah, I do ask every twin I encounter that. I don't think it's possible to have an ugly set of twins because the more familiar, like the more you see something, you the more attractive it is. Like even think of the two fat biker twins. Like yeah. you don't think yeah. of them as ugly. You just think of them as twins. Uh, there is a way they twins can uh, if they're they're conjoined. Oh, that's gross. Yeah, that that's is gross. That's yeah. That is the one loophole. That's disgusting. That is the one loophole. Yeah. Well, I follow on TikTok. They're kind. Of, they're both very pretty. They're conjoined. Really? And one of them has a boyfriend. I don't know how that works. Yeah. And he's always in their TikTok. He definitely thinks both of them are his girlfriends. Yeah. yeah. Well, they are. He's having an kind orgy of. every time, right? <laughs> yeah. He's had multiple it's, it's orgies. Definitely a threesome. One just yeah. likes to watch. If you kiss your own conjoined twin, are you not? Kiss, are you kissing yourself? That's masturbating. Can you? Oh, yeah. I don't can think you, you can. Can you kiss your conjoined twin? It's like it depends on how you're your ear. Yeah, it depends on the angle. It really depends happen. on where the conjoinment is. Oh, yeah, it could be not in the head. It could be ab- abdominal. Yeah, they're oh. abdominal. Have you guys seen those conjoined brothers that just brawl with each other? No. That's awesome. Just like... Literally fighting in a phone booth? Every And it's every single day. It might be like 60-year-olds. Does anybody ever win? Uh, I think, yeah, I think one's better. <laughs> <laughs> one's been secretly training. <laughs> Sleeping? What are you doing back there? Yeah. We share lungs, and I'm, <laughs> I'm dying over here, yeah, My heartbeat is going through the roof. Hey, wouldn't it hurt? Like, aren't you beating the shit out of me? Yeah, you're beating Yeah, you think. Up. I don't know how that works. Damn. There's, there's footage. I'm asking all the important questions. Today. Get Ray back in here. Dude, Ray, <laughs> yeah. a, a group of Rays would be good. Yeah. yeah. Unless you're Steve Irwin. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Very sharp. Uh, uh, because I I feel like Ray can also be like a hotter like 
older Italian woman name too, right? Mm. No? Yeah, R A E. Yeah, yeah but oh, I think Ray, like Ray Dunn, like Ray. Yeah. Yeah. Sell at Marshalls. I think you need to have an R A Y gathering and an R A E gathering. Okay, yes, yeah, so yeah, that's true. Have them fucking fight. Yeah, fucking <laughs> fight. Fight. A bunch of guys named Ray beating older mm. women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take survival of the Ray. Ray. Yeah, the yeah. old women. I'd watch a uh, show, Survival of the Rays. The fight, pro fighting should just get rid of weight classes, and you have to just fight Three the names? person of your name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I did see, like, this Russian video that was, uh, like, this probably 400-pound dude fighting four women. <laughs> he was getting his ass beat, though. It was awesome. Because they yeah, were, like, they is. looked trained. Was he just not mobile enough? Yeah, and I, I think it was just one of those situations he probably had just been talking a lot of shit. They I'm, probably used their words, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were probably just beating him Put into him submission. Down. Like I've been told that a number of rays can actually be quite racist. What? Yeah. Oh, so you get them together, they call themselves the superior rays. <laughs> oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a known fact. <laughs> God damn it. Get Ray back. Uh, in. Nick, did you like that? Yeah. His yeah. ass back. I'm trying in to do here. a Nick joke. Of course, Sass isn't here when Ray's comes up. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hooked up with my boss at work once. What? It was pretty scandalous. When we're how old? How, how, how old? <laughs> <laughs> this is why I like don't want to. I don't want to like incriminate the person. But I was I was a temp, and it was like in New York and in a like a proper work environment, and I sort of did the grooming on this one. Oh, and you I, wait? Did you hook up in the office? Yeah, that's wait on the Xerox machine. No, but Maybe like write up a story for me, dude. It was it was pretty cool. Uh, and I sort of like was trying to seem like I was cool because like I was. I wanted them to think that I was like successful outside of doing the shitty job. So like I'd get SAG screeners and I'd be like, I got all the movies this year. Like, <laughs> yeah. I want the movies. So Those I, are the things you look back and you're like, oh, I was such a douchebag. Actually, no. Why am I? This is what happened. I walked in her office one day dressed like this, and I go, I'm sorry. Like, if this is inappropriate, but I think you're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Oh, oh that's cool. Shit. That's really cool. That's a young that's day dude. Courage. That sounds like Jim. holy fuck. What did she do? Did she push everything off her desk? No, but dude. So, it, and she was like, "Wow, thank you. That's so nice." Then before I was like, my my temp job was ending. Uh, temporarily I left those movies to try to seem cool she like DM'd me at some point we started talking slowly 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 over time then we went to like a yoga class together before you know it we're in the closet oh fuck hooking up but it turned weird at one point because like she'd be like I'm on my way to the closet and like no one else knew and like I'd be doing shit and (laughs) I'd be working you know what I mean Uh, and then she would get mad at me and she would then start to like a little my work. Oh I, no, that's uh, so. That's probably why that shouldn't happen. Yeah. This is why women shouldn't be high up in business. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. They don't know how to handle that's, it. That's, that's our dynamic is here. risky. Calls me in her office. She's like, "So what happened today?" And I'm like, "Sorry, I was busy." She goes, "Oh, what? Stacking paper on top of each oh, other?" Oh no! Uh, Point. <laughs> probably turned yeah, you on God. so much. <laughs> it was weird, dude. Yes, but then ma'am. she would hire me back for like these short assignments, and we would just like hang out and go in the closet and like. How big was the yeah, closet? Yeah, what's the closet? It was back? small, dude. Yeah. It was a small closet. Damn. Uh, and when it started to get weird when she'd be like, I've curated a playlist. Let's listen to it. And she'd play it, and it would be like a very specific young thug song that she would <laughs> never have listened to. <laughs> That's when I started to get like weirded out by it. That's incredible. Nice. The hottest moments, I didn't even enjoy them. I started to feel used. Yeah. Was she single? Oh. Oh, fuck. oh no, oh, no. She is now. <laughs> yeah. She yeah, is now. I would think. Oh, it didn't work. No, but I, <laughs> I like to think that I was part of something good because it didn't end up working out. That's what everyone says. <laughs> they, the catalyst. Yeah, you're a hero. Yeah. yeah skin of the game, dude. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. It's not my, I didn't That's know. a baller I didn't move. Know the guy, dude. <laughs> what a She probably needed move. to hear uh, how beautiful she looked. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. That yeah, was probably forever ago that she heard it last. I yeah. meant it, dude. I meant it at the time. You know, it, things got weird. But she significantly older. Probably like seven or eight years older. Okay. Oh, that's I mean nothing crazy. Consenting adults. Yeah. yeah. Jerry Thornton's at home right now painting the walls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry losing his shit. That might be the coolest thing I've ever heard anyone do. Pretty cool, right? Walking into your boss's office and be like, "You're so hot." Yeah. And having it work out. Hey, I'm a very fireable position. I just want to say you're fucking hot. Yeah. <laughs> and just walking out. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Putting that in her head. Power move. Yeah. Let her think about it. Oh man. Was that like Jeez. 10 a.m. You should have you should have kept it going and then uh, you used it against her. 
Yes. So Francis' evil brain is yeah. working. People were saying that to me, and I was like, dude, that's fine. They were like, you should like f- uh, file a lawsuit and say you were sexually harassed. That's why you're telling too many people about this. <laughs> well, actually, I've not, I don't think I've ever talked about this like publicly. Yeah, but no, so this we're is good. Just said people were telling you. Wait, what do you mean? People were telling you how to not use publicly it. publicly he has. Oh, yeah, that, that oh. was private. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. Okay. No, people were like, "Yeah, dude, you should sue him. I'll pay for the lawyer." I'm like, That'd "Be no. the lamest thing ever." And you hook up with then the that lawyer. would also ruin your cool story. 100. percent Be like, "Yeah, I hooked up with my boss, then I sued her." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a, that doesn't hit the same. And it's my fault that we did. Like, right. I planted the seed. Yeah, yeah, you it started it early. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's my fault. I, I love saying it's my fault we hooked up. <laughs> Just a funny thing to say. Yeah. yeah, it's my fault. I hooked up with that woman. I was too hot. She was too. You hot. were too hot. <laughs> <laughs> we were all too hot. <laughs> Did you write one of us a speech? I could. Why don't we do a speech? Well, I'm not going to do it right now. You would just oh, have Nick should, do it. But I would need time. Like write one of us a speech. Or Vanilla blue iced coffee. Really. Yeah. I used Did to you write me a speech? Uh, writing best man speeches. Really? Yeah. I've I've about written. 15. Me and Nick will write you a speech. You've done best man speeches? I've done about 15. I've written a few of those. Too. I, um, oh. It started with a guy I kind of knew, and then it was like word of mouth, and I was meeting with these best men that I don't know in bars. 200 bucks they would tell me about their uh, oh shit brother or friend it's a good rom-com premise yeah but uh, i was writing best man speeches sometimes for guys i didn't know i did a maid of honor once went well uh yeah do you love that's a from low them bar afterwards and be, but they hit so it every once in a like, while they'll send me the videos of how it went and they were like dude it was such a rush i had one guy <laughs> i wrote, incredible i didn't know this yeah i wrote for i just needed money when i was like in columbus i wrote for this one guy and he like convinced himself like it was one wedding where it was like kind of a mutual friend, so I got to see it happen. And he like went around afterwards like gloating like it was his. And I didn't say anything, but like, like that's so he was just kind of what he paid up. for. He paid yeah, for it. It is what he paid for. Sign an NDA? He was like, that was such a rush. I need to start doing that more. I'm like, be a best man more? You know what's weird? Yeah. <laughs> I've been also to four. Also re- read someone else's funny words? Yeah, yeah, but I guess it's the same rush. Yeah. Four weddings in West Virginia, and all the groomsmen had Pokemon jokes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> interesting. No, I, uh, uh, somewhere Ohio, I've, I did a couple Pittsburgh. I did. I've done the most Pittsburgh weddings. Wow. Um, did you have a template? I had. I I did like um, uh, lead it off a joke about yourself, a, a self-deprecating, so they could see where it was headed. Got it. Got to do both uh, of those. Joke like four jokes about the groom. So you lament w- about the wife. Ride. And then uh, sappy, sappy. The, they would pay you two hundred dollars, and the first joke you would write was about them. Yeah. Hey, you got to loosen it up. You got to loosen <laughs> it up. There was a method. The more you can make fun of yourself, people will fucking love it. Yeah. yeah. They eat that shit out of the palm of your hand. Like if you make fun of yourself first, it kind of opens. Your, it allows. Okay, you can laugh it's at me not. now. Let's laugh at. That's what was the uh, What was rabbit. the runtime of most of your speeches? Because I'm a, a short guy. Yeah, short guy. I'm a big believer in like people trying to do anything over five minutes is way too long. Also, like usually the the best men were always very drunk. Mm-hmm. You had to account for that. So you they I always like uh one time the guy a guy said pause out loud. My boy <laughs> Alex, I wrote pause and he was like pause and like I guess people thought like, so they read these. Yeah. <laughs> they thought it was like a, a gay joke. Man, Alex Stevens. <laughs> uh, oh, Julio gave the best man speech at my wedding. Mm-hmm. You read uh, no, off I something? Did. I did that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I did read off, uh, and I, was, I I looked down on that. So no, I um. Oh, he read off a page of paper, speech. not off his phone. No, oh, I know, but like I think that the if you can do it without, if you can raw dog it, I always respect people who raw dog. That's so. It's really hard to do. Hard and risky. A lot of you know, you know, uh, like there's a lot of wasted space if you do it that way. I think the bartender accused me of being too long though. Oh whoa! Ooh. Fuck that bartender. It was good speech, you but go bef- a little long. Did you go before, or after oh. the? Uh, you say that the maid of honor after. I mean, you always kill. It's the same guy that told my wife she was a little over the top. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize my buddy was bartender. Here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I. I don't want to, Kate. I don't want to sound misogynistic, but I have yet to hear a good. Maid of Honor. I've been, I've sat through some pretty rough. It's pre- it gets pretty bad. Yeah. Have you ever Those done a Maid of Honor? Don't know, good, man. Francis. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I thought the Maid of Honor at his wedding was really good. Really? She's she was really funny. Some good that are, haven't been terrible, but there's also been some memorably terrible ones. Mm-hmm. My wedding, the... There's some memorably terrible guys, too. The Maid of Honor, uh, like, rap battle roasted me. It was awesome. Oh, that's, that's sick. Cool. That's sick. That's awesome. It's very funny. And then the groom or the the uh, the best man also wrote a rap. So it was, and they didn't know it was. They're both. They both wow. killed. It was fucking hilarious. Mm. That's cool. 
worst best man speeches are worse than any maid of honor speech. Yeah, that's yes. true. You're right. They, they yes. start they start working the microphone cord and walking nope. around. You're like, here we go. Dude. I got a, I got a buddy who we still we make go. fun of his friend's best man speech. Like it was that bad. <laughs> it was that bad. He it, he just spent the whole time talking about. It was like a a friend of one of my best college friends. And his like uh, grade school friend did the best man speech, and the whole speech was basically about his friend's parents. Like he's like, yeah, I grew up, and like they were kind of like my parents. And the whole it was like, this has nothing to do with these two people getting married. Oh shit! And then at the end, he was like, yeah, and everything I said uh, about them kind of goes for uh, her too. It was like that was it. Oh damn, that's bad. brutal. Yeah, I've been, I've heard that. bridesmaids where I'm like, this is boring, but. It's the groomsmen where you're like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Where yeah. it's like, oh, it's true. Fuck, it is true. More of that. It's like, Whoa. it's more volatile. Yeah. yeah. I had a friend try to raw dog his vows. He was like, I'll just make it up when I'm up there. Hell yes. Oh. I respect that. Oh, I hate it. That. Was bad. <laughs> <laughs> you're hot. And, uh, <laughs> It'd be that was really close to what it was. <laughs> I respect. I, uh, that. I, uh, when I was on the altar, I did something really romantic. Yeah. Um, I, I was pulled out my vows like I didn't know them. And like I had a paper in front of me and I was like acting that I was reading. It was very from the heart. And then I turned around and I was just looking at a picture of her. Oh, oh Mario. That is. <laughs> love Guys are going to steal that from you. Yeah. People are going to steal that from you. I did it first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. Tried looking at her just inspired the words. Yeah. Did KB write your speech? Yeah. <laughs> No, I wrote my own to give to Kyle to read. <laughs> About you. Yeah, but he didn't show up. He just missed the wedding. He just didn't come. So I had to <laughs> I had to read my own best man's book. <laughs> I am my own best friend. I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> It's true. Yeah. Read my See, own. Chet Hanks had that uh, uh Instagram story today where he's like just went on a two and two and a half hour walk or hike by myself and I had a full conversation with myself the entire time. Yeah, he said he misses kicking it with himself. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just like arguing with yourself. Has he ever been in here? No, but no. They, they've met him. Yeah. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. yeah. That was crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, His number, right? Yeah. How much did it cost you to make him? him uh, oh, it cost one me more $2,500. Time. That was the one expense <laughs> report that I really had a. Just went on a hike and talked out loud to myself for two and a half straight hours. <laughs> Realest conversation I ever had. Hadn't kicked it with myself like that in a while. Self talk is everything. This is the way. I mean, when golfers talk to themselves, they're praised with having the. Highest mental acuity. In Jesus, Chet. Damn. Is he like on does that happen? Shit? Head, He's guy. got a new podcast too. He got Tom Hanks as his first guest. No really? way. Big huge, guest. Huge guest. Are you serious? Yeah, huge guest. Has he become really inspirational hard. now or something? Uh, he, uh, yeah, he is. He's doing that. Well, we he we Kinda played problematic. the problematic. We played the the video. He was at a um, sobriety council, like a. a Big meeting with uh, a bunch of kids around. And he was just swearing the whole time, and, yeah. and they asked him to stop. And he was like, "No, I'll fucking swear all I want." Inspiring, <laughs> badass. Yeah, that's honestly fair. Makes not drinking cool. After we met him uh, on rediscovering, he followed Donnie and Kyle, but not me. And that I've been in my own head ever. Ouch. Since. Oh, calm, calm. It hurts. Just give him a call. The number is gone. Did you just try, like, liking it. a bunch of pictures to s make him notice? I, I put him in my Instagram story, and he reposted it. But nothing. Ugh. I design. I'm, I'm a nervous to call Chet. I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no number. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Come on, no, let no, it no, go. No. I'll text the number to you. Oh, no, let it go. I can't handle this in Raymond. Let it go. Ask him about the walk. <laughs> this is Forrest Gump's kid. Go, uh, do it. Call him. Ask him phone. about the Give walk. Give me your phone. If you don't want to do it, I'll call. Ask him about alone time. Yeah. Big Cat, you do it. You tell him how many followers you have right off the rip so he knows you're serious. What if you call and you say <laughs> oh, you're good him? Call, good call. Just talk every to platform. Him. Ask him to follow me. <laughs> from Barstool, too. Make it serious. Probably busy. <laughs> I talk, yeah, he's probably busy. Come on. Talking to himself. Hey, bro, we know you're alone right now. Best case scenario. Does he not have a voicemail set up? <laughs> I wouldn't be shocked. Come on. This is the longest. Yo, what's up? <laughs> Yo. Chet, what's up, brother? Oh, 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 no! he got us! Oh, I thought it was a voicemail. <laughs> 
Oh, Chet's the man. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I can't believe Chet's got the, the, the prank it. voicemail. I thought in my in the back of my head, I was like, there's a prank, there's a prank. But it was just long enough to pause. I want to hear that again. <laughs> Wait, please don't. Wait. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. One more, one more, one Unlock more. Unlock your phone. Unlock your phone. <laughs> I want to hear that again. That was fun. Hey! Five missed calls. Dude, that was fucking cool. <laughs> I want to hear that again. He, that was so good. I'm getting the stopwatch out to yeah, see yeah, how yeah. long he went. That pause was incredible. was incredible. He really got, I was like, oh my God. It's, it's, it's In him. the moment, I was like, this is definitely his voicemail. <laughs> but he he paused it just long enough that I, I went back in. Alright. Okay. I'm starting it as soon as he says, yo, what's up? Yeah. The end of that word. <laughs> Poor Nick. I might get caught again. I bet it's like five seconds. Well, yeah, because well, you know he's going to pick up the phone like he that. He might answer this many calls. You might think it's like an emergency. It is. He needs to follow Nick. Yo, what's up? <laughs> How long was that? 4.05 seconds oh. in between. Holy shit. That's a patient prank. Jet Hanks is a legend. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, he gets everyone. How pissed do you think Tom is? 